Hello, franchise family, Catherine Monson again. I received an email last week from a friend who said, do you have some ideas on how to get me in a better mood? And I had some, I emailed him five or six, and that led to some research. And that led to this video titled, 11 Ways to Improve Your Mood. Number one, limit your intake of news. I happen to be a news junkie. I watch it in the morning, I watch it in the evening. But even I know that after a point in time, the negativity can get to me limit your intake. Number two, limit your intake of social media, especially Twitter, where people have anonymous handles and they can be really nasty and bitter. But even in Facebook, where everybody's posting happy pictures and wonderful pictures, lots of research that shows that spending too much time on Facebook can make you feel down because you think my life isn't as awesome as other people's. Or if some of your Facebook friends post really political stuff and you have a different view of the world, that can get you down to number three, watch or read things that bring you happiness and joy and inspiration. I love watching videos of baby goats playing. They jump around, they're cute, they're adorable, so are kittens, so are puppies. When I go to the nail salon, they always have some animal channel on of just animals and seeing baby elephants play and hippopotamuses play. I mean, it just brings joy. Or read an inspiring book or watch an inspiring video, read scripture, whatever works for you. Number four, laugh, 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 find things that make you laugh. A great comedy, comedians, jokes, whatever it is, laughing raises your mood. Number five, get exercise, move your body. Our bodies are connected to how we feel emotionally. When you move your body, you lift your spirits. You can dance to great music by yourself or with your kids. You can go for a brisk walk. You can do some yoga. You can take up Tai Chi or just jump around. You don't have to do necessarily jumping jacks or burpees. You could just flail around, but moving your body makes a difference. Idea number six, get outdoors, get some fresh air. It could be sunshine, but you could even put on your galoshes and your raincoat and an umbrella and splash around in puddles in the rain. Number seven, spend time in nature. Watch a sunrise, watch a sunset. There's research that shows just a 10 to 15 minute walk in a green space is proven to lift your mood. Number eight, tune into an upbeat playlist. Music is amazing for what it can do for the human spirit. Number nine, hang out with a pet. If you got a dog, cuddle with the dog, play with the dog, a cat. If you don't have one, borrow your neighbors but just playing with or going for a walk with or cuddling with animals helps us feel happier and less stressed. Number 10, count your blessings. I talk about it a lot. Keep a gratitude journal, write down what you're thankful for, express gratitude. Every time we express gratitude, it boosts our own mood. Number 11, talk with a friend in person, on video, on a phone call, and even better, if it's in person, give them a big hug, because a big hug releases oxytocin, the happy hormone, and makes us feel better. Very good for us. So you are in charge. You can prompt yourself into feeling better, into being happier. You just have to make the choice. You need to take the action and enjoy the boosted and improved mood. You got 11 ways to choose from. Thank you.